the father of all sins. The devil is the adversary. He is the one that torments and destroys. He is never what he appears to be. He is one who opposes. He is one who actively comes against you in a cunning manner. He has over 5,000 years of experience in dealing with mankind. He is never what he appears to be. He is called Lucifer, the light bearer. He is called Lucifer, the anointed cherub that guards. Satan is a liar. And Jesus tells us this in John 8 verse 44. Isn't it interesting that God's truth brings life and Satan's lies bring death? John 8 verse 44 You belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth, for there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language, for he is a liar and the father of lies. That is the very true nature of Satan. He is the father of lies. He is one that never appears to be what he truly is. Satan never comes in his true form. Have you ever seen a picture of Satan? Any time Satan is depicted in imagery or artwork, he is depicted as an evil horned red creature with horns and a pitchfork. Nowhere in scripture will you find him described to look like this. The Bible is clear. 2 Corinthians 11 verse 14 And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. And the Lord Jesus Christ said, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Isaiah 14 verse 12 to 15. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. He is described in this Bible as the God of this world. He is described in the Bible as having a kingdom in this world, for the kingdoms of this world were handed to him when Adam fell in the book of Genesis, when Satan took the Lord Jesus Christ on an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory, and offered these kingdoms to him if he worshipped him. Satan had every right to do so. Satan will one day place his man on on the throne of the kingdoms of this world, and this man is none other than the Antichrist. However, he will be defeated when heaven opens in the book of Revelation. Revelation 19 verse 11 and 12, And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God, that ye may eat the flesh of kings, and the flesh of captains, and the flesh of mighty men, and the flesh of horses, and of them that sit on them, and the flesh of all men, both free and bond, both small and great. And I saw the beast, and the kings of the earth, and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse, and against his army. And the beast was taken 
and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image, these both were cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone, and the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. Two things to know about Satan is his location and his appearance. The Bible is clear, Satan is not locked up in hell. Satan is not in chains of darkness. The Bible is clear, Satan is on this earth. Not only is he on this earth, he is the God of this earth. 1 Peter 5 verse 8, Be sober. Be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Hollywood is doing the devil's work. In every film, you always see the devil in hell with a pitchfork, raising the temperature there. That's not true. He is on this earth, looking for people to go after. Two, his appearance. When Satan approaches someone, he comes as an angel of light. He presents his idea as good and upright. And that's exactly what he did with Eve. This is the sinister and seductive nature of deception. People think that Satan can be seen in people fornicating, or people committing adultery or drunkenness. No, that is the area of the flesh. The devil is more subtle than that. The devil is a liar and deceiver. Have you ever noticed how powerful one lie is? One lie can ruin a person's life. There are people in prison cells wasting away their lives right now because of one lie. It is a sobering thought, the number of marriages that have been destroyed by one lie. Lives have been destroyed by one lie, and the most sobering thought is that there are people in hell today because they have believed in one lie of the devil. If you look at all the false prophets today in the world, they use the same approach. They tell you things from the Bible, and they add a hint of a lie. If you want to counter them, they will point out the scripture they used. These things have been going on for a long time now, and it has and still is affecting a lot of people. They twist the scriptures. Look at some of the churches that are admired and popular in the world, and you will realize that the people there have been deceived. They are being deceived constantly, and they are kept under the bondage of deceit. They genuinely believe that they are listening to the truth but they are in danger. That is why deception is so evil. People who are being deceived do not know they are being deceived. This is why you can see people attending quote-unquote churches that you can see are clearly not in line with scripture. But the people attending that church can't see it. The doctrine of Christology is the most important doctrine. There is no other doctrine more important than the doctrine of Jesus Christ and who Jesus Christ is to you. If you have this doctrine of Christ incorrect, you are in error. Because the truth is, there are so many doctrines of Jesus Christ, even different religions that have nothing to do with Christianity will say they believe in Jesus Christ. This is a big topic, but I will only skim over it. Matthew 24 verse 24 For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall shew great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. If we check some other versions of this verse, they used the word Messiah. 
The word Messiah means the Anointed One, or the Holy One who is to take the role of a prophet or deliver people. The Messiah can also be called the Saviour. Jesus was saying there will be many people claiming to be the Saviour. Just because someone says they believe in Jesus Christ the Messiah does not mean they believe in the Jesus Christ of this Bible. Because there is a trend of people believing that Jesus is the Messiah but not the Son of God. And that is deceptive. Do you see the deception? The truth is there that Jesus is the Messiah. But the deception is that he is not the Son of God. The closer a lie is to the truth, the more dangerous it is. And this is exactly what you need to understand about Satan. He is subtle in his deception. Let me give you some practical examples of false doctrines sponsored by Satan. Doctrine 1. I believe that Jesus is an amazing prophet and I follow his teachings, but I don't believe he himself is God. Look at how good that statement sounds in comparison to, I don't believe in Jesus at all. Believing in either statement will still leave you in hell. But one statement acknowledges that Jesus was a prophet and also acknowledges his teachings but then goes on to deny his deity. Jesus Christ is God. The fact is this, there are a lot of Jesus Christs out there, and Satan has no problem with you believing in Jesus and going to church, as long as the Jesus you believe in is not the Jesus of this Bible. 